back out at Briner Sports Complex after what was an exhilarating afternoon of Ball State soccer. They walk out of here with a 3-1 victory over the Jacksonville State Gamecocks. A lot of anticipation leading up to this one on Senior Day, celebrating six seniors and the Cardinals followed through on their expectations. Ball State able to get the job done in the back end defensively, really able to stifle Jackie Rush, Kelsey Bright, and all the top players for Jacksonville State, and uh, the results show today. Now the Cardinals looking ahead to conference play with Bowling Green in a week from now. Uh, what will they take away from today that will help them in conference play? I think they got to continue what they've been doing. They got to be they got to be tough with the ball. They got to be tough on defense, and they got to be sticking to their game plan. As they do that, they're going to be okay against Bowling Green. We'll take a look at the highlights here. As it was a three-one victory for the Cardinals, three different goal scorers getting all sorts of people involved. The Gamecocks. They, they showed a little fight. They came back in the second half, played strong, but in the second half, or in the first half, rather, it was all Cardinals. Yeah, Cardinals able to convert on their chances. Just nice nice overall ball placement on that. Elena Musil on that first one. And Kelsey, Kelsey Wendlick Wendlick coming back down here. Kelsey Wenlick crossed it in. Gabby Veldman followed up the bobble from Mira Johnson, and that made it 2-0 in favor of the Ball State Cardinals. Veldman able to take advantage of the Mira mistake, and. Cardinals solid on the back line all afternoon. Didn't allow a goal in the first half, but Kayla Thompson broke free in the second half to get Jacksonville State back in the game. All great individual effort by Kayla Thompson, showing the wheels, showing the speed, able to convert. Jackson, a track runner at Jacksonville State as well. Her speed on display here as well as a nice inside touch as she broke free past Orla Travers Gillespie. Only the second goal that Brooke Dennis has allowed in three games but Thompson got the better over there. Well, that speaks to the, the power of the Ball State defense this whole afternoon and, and really the whole season. She's not very tested very much. It's because it's so strong. You see there, Jackie, excuse me, uh, Jasmine Moses making a nice play there. The Cardinals able to hold on. They were leading 2-1 to one after the Thompson goal, and then Leah Mattingly finished things off with the exclamation point on things for the Cardinals. Just a nice touch from Leah, Matt Leah Mattingly. She had a great game all day. Matt Expect nothing less from her. Mattingly, her second goal, in as many weeks as she had the game winner against Delaware a week ago on a penalty kick, this time a little bit more technique that you see from her coming off the flank. Again, very strong in the offensive game. Defensively, she just was great. She stifled so many Jacksonville State players. Nice cherry on top for uh, Leah Mattingly. And Mattingly only a sophomore, so plenty of soccer left to be played for her. Again, the goal scorers, Moosla, Veldman, and Mattingly for the Cardinals. Thompson nets one in the second half for the Jacksonville State Gamecocks. Jake, before we have to get off the air, the Cardinals victorious 3-1 to today. What's your final takeaway? Again, defensive presence was just very, very strong today. Stifled Jacksonville State able to, and, and Ball State able to come away with the win. The Cardinals now four wins, one loss, two draws on the season. They play Bowling Green right here at Briner Sports Complex next Friday at 5 o'clock. This has been a production of Ball State SportsLink Soccer on SportsLink TV. Thanks for joining Jake and myself.